What does it take to transform an industry? How do you fundamentally shift the way an industry views its role in the world? The Kellogg Innovation Network at the Kellogg School of Management set out to do just that, and we started with one of the largest industries in the world, mining. The Kellogg School provided a neutral platform to bring together key stakeholders from both inside and outside the mining industry to begin to envision what an inclusive model for development might look like, shifting the mindset of mining from an extractive industry to a regional development partner. Over the next two years, the Kin Catalyst Mining Company of the Future convened multi-stakeholder working groups in Brazil, the UK, and the US to co-create and refine the development partner framework and catalyze the days of reflection for industry leaders at the Vatican and the Church of England. Then in December 2014, the Kin Catalyst Development Partner Framework was launched at the Ford Foundation in New York City. What we know is that the world we live in is not a binary world, and the solutions that we must find are going to be found from pragmatic people committed to problem solving and working together. The development partner framework actually defines a different way of thinking and operating for mining companies that will help them, I think, engage better with local communities, with governments and all of our broader stakeholders so that we can develop partnerships and make sure that we have everyone in community as partners in the projects or the developments that we put forward. The Development Partner Framework is an approach and a set of principles designed to encourage and inspire organisations to engage with countries, communities and Indigenous people and other stakeholders in a new and different way. The Kin Development Partner Framework has three primary pillars, shared purpose, thriving ecosystems and competitive countries, communities and companies. It is designed to have the mining industry think in a different way and think about the legacy that it leaves beyond the life of mine and think about developing a much more shared purpose and shared value that all stakeholders can realise the true value of resource developments around the world. The beauty of the Development Partner Framework is it's bringing all those issues together in one place. It's creating a framework in which one can view these various issues in a comprehensive way. And in many ways, it's suggesting, if you will, a mindset shift for the industry to think of itself less as an industry responsible only for what it is doing inside the fence, delivering value to shareholders, but also what it's doing to affect the communities around the, uh, the mine sites who are, in effect, stakeholders in the larger development of those regions in which it's operating. It's constructive. It's looking forward. Not trying to hide, I think, from the legacy issues of the past, uh, of which there are many, but they're also trying to look forward and say what what are mining companies in the future and what is our constructive contribution to society given that we all depend on it. We believe we could be characterized as a development industry if we rethink the model and the way we frame our activities. The King Catalyst is going to foster partnerships between different companies, different players, different stakeholders in the mining business. And those players working together will be able to do different things to transform the mining business from being just an economic engine to being an economic, social, and environmental engine. What the initiative here does is really bring the opportunity uh, to accelerate collaboration. What we're trying to do is bring the two sides of the conversation together and agree on where we can collaborate in a very effective way, but beyond that, see how we might create a pathway to bring all of the industry protagonists together to help build a model that works for all of society.